What is up, y'all? So today we'll be talking about the Denver Nuggets and why I think they will be a very scary team this season. But first off, if you enjoy the video, make sure to, you know, like the video. And if you enjoy daily sports content on the NBA, NFL, college football, and college basketball, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Without further ado, let's just get into the video. So the Denver Nuggets, as we all know, were everyone's, you know, probably most people's favorite team this, you know, postseason with upsets against both the Jazz and the Clippers before eventually falling to the Lakers in five. Um, so obviously, in my opinion, they outperformed. I personally did not see them doing that well. But then again, I did see the freaking Clippers, you know, winning the West. So yeah, take my opinion with a grain of salt, y'all. Um, but honestly, the Denver Nuggets are just going to get better. And they should have the rest of the league on warning because they're already very good. So, you know, the Denver Nuggets, the first reason I think they'll be good, or not necessarily good, but better, is because of Nikola Jokic, okay? Honestly, he's probably the best center in the NBA right now. And we're not counting um, freaking Anthony Davis as a center. He can do it all. I mean... You can't block his jumper. You can't just... You just can't. I mean... It's unstoppable, basically. His one weakness is defense. If he can improve that, oh my lord, he would be amazing. Um, now, the reason I think he's going to do so good is not just because he's a you know, amazing player. But because the West does not have a, a huge group of big men. Of, like, amazing big men. They have Anthony Davis. They have... Um, Carl Anthony Towns, I guess. I mean, Rudy Gobert, but he is not a factor offensively, so it's not a huge issue for Nikola Jokic. Um, the point I'm trying to make here is that the West does not have a ton of great big men, and obviously, you know, there might be someone that surprises me, such as DeAndre Aiden or Serge Ibaka could do really good on the Clippers. But Jokic is one of, if not the best big man in the West right now. And you can't block his jumper, as stated before. I mean, it's just not good for the rest of the West. I mean, amazing big man, especially when your team lacks a good big man, is going to be a lot of pain. A lot of pain. So the next dude that balled out in the bubble, Jamal Murray. Um, quite honestly, at this point, if I'm the Denver Nuggets, I would sign his girlfriend to a multi-year contract. Not going to lie. Um, dude just amazing quite honestly there's nothing I can be able to say about him I'm gonna be quite honest I have not heard of Jamal Murray until this season like he just was not a player that was on my radar that's there's no other way to say it really um yeah so next up we have the two guys that I think will take significant steps forward this you know season slash off season and that is Michael Porter Jr. and Bull Bull. So Michael Porter Jr., he's had injury issues before. That's what caused him to drop to the 14th overall pick. Um, I believe he was picked straight out of high school. Not entirely sure on that. But I do know that he is, you know, good. Um, injuries were the reason he fell in the draft. Uh... He could have won rookie. He was a rookie this year, even though he's been like two years since he was drafted. But it was just a perfect pick for the Nuggets team. You know, they get a good small forward for the future, it looks like. That fits the timeline they're currently on. I mean, Jokic is only, what, 25, 24? He's a young guy, right? Tons of potential to improve. Michael Porter Jr. is a young guy. Jamal Murray is a young guy. They are a younger team. But they're not full of rookies is what I'm trying to say here. They all have a decent amount of experience. But there is one rookie, however, that has captured the heart of America. And that is the one, the only Bull Bull. Right? Um, I'm a Miami Heat fan, y'all. And I'm not going to lie. When I saw that we drafted Bull Bull, I was so happy, man. He would have fit the team perfectly if he could actually shoot. But then we traded him to the Nuggets. And so far, he's looked good on the Nuggets. Um, he plays the center position, which could be an issue. Potentially with Nikola Jokic, I'm sure they could make it work at power forward. I am sure if he is good enough, they can make it work. Um, I believe we saw in the bubble one time where they ran Jokic at point guard. 
Jamal Murray, they, they ran some weird stuff in the bubble. We'll go with that. Um, but anyways, they can make it work is what I'm trying to say here. Bull Bull, he's a sleeper pick for Rookie of the Year if he gets a significant amount of minutes. Um, I don't see why he shouldn't, quite honestly. Stretch four, he fits perfectly on almost any team. He's a tall stretch four, too. Two. So, yeah. Defensively, anytime you're, you know, over seven feet, you're going to be at least somewhat decent at defense, right? Just, you know, using your length to, you know, get good blocks and such will help you out tremendously. All right, so... Already, he's, you know, somewhat decent in defense without even having, you know, really try. And if he gets a significant increase in minutes, as I said before, rookie of the year. But I also think this Denver Nuggets team would be very good, okay? Because if you have Bobo and Jokic both spreading the floor, you can allow people such as, you know, Jamal Murray to slash inside and get the easy points, right? Um, Yeah. So that's about it for the Denver Nuggets. Um, just an amazing team. Most people, you know, if you didn't have a team, you like the Denver Nuggets. You always go for the underdogs. And I feel like they will not. They should not be the underdogs again. Quite honestly, I could see them capturing the two seed in the West. Not going to lie. Um, I think the Clippers take a step back, and I think the Nuggets have enough younger guys that they'll take a huge step forward. Um that's about it for the Nuggets. Can't really, you know, think of anything else. Um, great young team. Tons of potential to improve. Jokic is just an amazing player. So is Jamal Murray. So is Michael Porter Jr. So is Bull Bull. I mean, it's just one of those teams. You know, tons of likable people on it. Unless you're a Jazz or a Clippers fan. Um, one thing I did not talk about before, you know, in this is Jeremy Grant. So the loss of Jeremy Grant will hurt them. I believe he signed with the Pistons. Not entirely sure on that. But he did not resign with the Nuggets. And that will hurt them, as I said before. But I feel like they have a bigger reason for this. And as I said before about Bull Bull, one potential reason could be that they see Bull Bull getting more minutes. Not necessarily starting, but getting up more minutes. Eating them into Jeremy Grant's time. And they judge that, hey, it will be fine for them to, you know, lose him as a player. I don't know. I'm not a GM or NFL reporter, but I feel like that is the reason they let Jeremy Grant go, or, you know, potentially just money straight up. Um, yeah, so that is it for today's video. So, as I said before, if you like the video, like the video. Uh, subscribe for daily NFL, NBA, college football, college basketball content. And, yeah, that's about it. Oh, yeah. Tell me down in the comments below. I really don't care what. Just, you know, talk about the Nuggets. Talk about basketball. Whatever you want to talk about, talk about it. Um, tell me your favorite food. Tell me what your favorite color is. Tell me how the weather is. Just comment down below something. I really don't care. Let's talk. Um, yeah, that's about it for tonight, y'all. So, y'all have a good day. See y'all around.